fire away. Here we are, Series 3 Rainier Side Retention System screen installation take one. Here our professional installers are putting the base housing up in place, centering it on the window itself. He's uh, putting it one fastener on the left side. Then come to my side with two screws and I'll do the lever part. Now he's going to the other side. Before he puts the screw in, they will level the base housing. The installation is right through the base housing. There is no bracket. The mounting holes were pre-drilled here on the site. We have two screws on the right side. screws on the left side and that's all that's required to hold up a that battery, huh? housing that's this wide. This is about an eight foot wide screen. Now they're taking the roller tube with the fabric on it and they're pushing the motor wire through a pre-drilled hole in the top of the housing. On the right side, they're pushing the idler in into the pin holder. And now on the left side, he's installing the motor mount into the bracket there. And once that's in, he takes the snap ring to secure the motor drive to the mounting unit there securely. Tighten up the cord. Now they'll cut the fabric loose, roll carefully the fabric down so it hangs freely on the hem bar which is pre-installed prior to shipment. You've got the remote, Doug. Now we can go now they're connecting power to the battery. This happens to be the Somfy Auto Sun solar powered okay, the uh, motor unit. At the same time. The battery is sitting right now, resting on top of the housing Go ahead. Okay. temporarily. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Push the up and down button. Okay, now push the up button, see if it goes up. Nope, stop it. Push the my button and hold it till it jogs. Reversing the motor direction now. Now push the up button. So that when we push up, it goes up. We'll have to do that each time until we lock the limits in. Because it really raising the screen up now in preparation of putting the side retention tracks on. You want me to do it until it's like. I like that. Now they take the side tracks and feed the fabric into it, raising the side track up into location. Often we have to shim out the side track a little bit so the back of the side track is flush with the back of the base housing. Uh, that's very important for the fabric to track straight. There's one screw at the top through the side track to secure the top. Which is pre -drilled. That hole was pre-drilled on site. 
Now they'll leave the bottom hanging loose and go attach the side rail on the right side in the same manner. Show them to keep where it's keeping flush with the outside edge of the house. That's critical too. Oh, the uh, right side of the side track needs to be flush with the right side of the housing. In addition to the back side of the of the side track being flush with the back side of the housing, that allows the uh, the zipper to track straight into the proper position on the roller tube. Now the screen's being lowered down, and the side tracks are, remember, are hanging loose right now with no uh, fasteners at the bottom. So we'll bring the we'll bring the screen all the way down. We'll check for level on the side tracks and evenness before the bottom fasteners are attached. And there are only two fasteners on the side track, one top and one bottom. And that varies on. Taller screens would have additional side tracks, but none, two are all that are required on a screen here that's about six feet tall. Makes for a really fast install. So the, right, the left side is secured. Now they'll come over to the right side and secure that. Again, you can see he's putting some spacers behind, which are two washers on the back side between the house and the housing and the side track. The screw goes through that. I'll check for level and square here. And secure that final corner of the uh, of the system. And that's the cover plate being installed on the left side. It just snaps into place. And he'll snap the and you gotta stop it when right you side the in. And programming the limits at the same time. Setting the bottom limit. Okay, when it gets to the top, mm -hmm. hold the my and the dog and push the button on the back. The Sumpy Auto Sun motor is a little slower than the 110 volt and motor. Programming is complete now, and we'll put the cover on the hood, the hood cover, to the base housing. Okay, 
Okay, and there the hood snapped into place. Nice, snug, snug fit. Other than the securing the motor into place and putting the solar panel on, this installation is complete.